In this session, we're going to model a grid of trees, a regular grid of trees, that is scaled randomly in size and has a gradient of color. The gradient of color could represent an ecological gradient such as the health of the tree, um, microclimate, soil, um, salinity, or soil moisture. So to do this, let's uh, start a new um, document in Grasshopper and let's copy our parametric tree for that. So I'm going to copy the cluster for the tree and paste this on my new canvas. And you can go ahead and hide the previews. So I'm going to select everything, center mouse button, disable preview. And I'm going to start by creating um, two geometry components. Um, and I'm going to link um, the trunk of the tree and the canopy of the tree to these. And I might go ahead and name them. I'm going to right click on each of these and I'm going to hide the wires. So right click on the, the left side, wire display hidden. Right click, wire display hidden. Now, we have our, our base tree. And we're going to distribute this across a square grid. You can find this under vector, square grid, and type and find the square grid. We're going to make a grid with 100 points so and a size of 15. So we'll make a number slider. I'm going to make this integer with a max of 20. And for this first time, I'm going to set my default to a numeric value to 15. I'm going to plug the number slider into size. I'm going to copy my number slider and I'm going to set this to 9. This is going to make 9 by 9 cells and that's going to make 100 points. So extent x, same one, extent y, and I have my 9 by 9 cell grid which gives me 100 points. We're going to move the tree to each of these points with the move to point command. This is from the plugin Pufferfish. So move to point. We need to have Pufferfish installed for this, of course. And on that note, I'll probably make a scribble here to leave myself a note that this is using Pufferfish in case I open this on a computer and I don't have that or share it with someone. It's good to document things. I'm going to set my font to Sega and leave myself a useful note here. Now, my geometry, I can make that canopy and my, move, my point A is going to be the origin. So I'll go ahead and make a panel as a quick way to do this. I'll call a, the name origin and I'll put the value 0, 0, 0 for its coordinate. I'll size it and then plug it in as point A. So all my trees, as you can see, are my reference tree sitting at the origin and I'm going to move it from there to every point on the grid cell. I need to do the same thing with the trunk. I'm doing this separately with the trunk and the canopy so that I can color them differently. So I'm going to plug the trunk into this one. And 
and this is starting to look like a nice ordered grid of trees. It's a little too ordered, so we're going to randomly scale the trees as our next point. Let's go ahead and group this. One thing I'm going to need to do later on is flatten this point B input. I'll go ahead and do it. I'll go ahead and flatten. I'm going to go ahead and group these, and I'm going to right-click to name on the group to name it Generate Grid of Trees. Our next job is to scale our trees. We're going to, we're going to leave the tree trunks as they are. So I'm going to double-click and add a scale command. My geometry will be the moved trees. My center without my center rather than being the origin as it currently is. Um, right now it's scaling everything to the origin. I want to move the center point to each of the points on the grid. Um, and rather than doing it from the grid, because I need to flatten that again, I'm going to take it from the vector on the moved point. Now, how much am I going to scale it by? I'm going to scale it by a random factor between 0 0.5 and 1. So let me put down the random component with Schrodinger's cat. I'm going to plug that in as the factor. And for the range, I'll place down a panel and put in a value from 0 0.5 to 1. And connect that to my range. Now, the default number is 1, so how do I get the right number for this? I'm going to use the list length command to find out how many points I have. I can plug either um, points or moved into this. If I use points, I'll have to flatten them. So I'll do that. I'll plug points in here. I'm going to flatten the list. So I have 100. I'm going to plug that in as the number. I'm going to group this and give it a right click to give it a name. Scale trees. And I've got my scaled grid of trees. Let's make that a little more randomly scale trees, a little more descriptively. The next thing to do is to make a gradient of color, a more regular gradient. So we'll add a, some custom previews as well. So start with custom preview. I'll do this first for the trunk because I'm going to just use a brown color for all the trunks. I haven't bothered to scale them either. I'm going to add a color swatch. And I'll go ahead and hide everything over here. Right click, middle mouse button click, disable preview. My material. Take a nice brown, dark brown, with a bit of a red and orange in there. Right there. And for the rest, I'm going to do a custom preview for this as well. So 
But what I want to do is interpolate between three colors. So go ahead and place my colors over here. And I'll put down an interpolate data. So I'm going to have three colors as my data. I'll plug the first one in, shift click to shift click and drag to plug the next ones in. And I'll change this color gradient. I'll leave one of them brown. I'll start with a nice dark green with quite a bit of blue in it. That looks fine. The middle one I'll make more orangey color. And we will be using this as the material. Our geometry will, of course, be the, um, the canopies. And we need to construct a range for this, for the parameter for interpolate data. The domain is from 0 to 1. And we need the right number of steps. For the steps, we're going to use the list length here. So 100 steps. You can see if you mouse over, I'm going to plug that in as the parameter. And I have my gradient. The last step is to group these and give the group a name. Color gradient. And this is how we create a regular grid of trees with a color gradient.